rise into another day. Got me thinking about my bacon. Bacon? Mm -hmm. Thinking Ooh. about my bacon and days. Oh. A shout out to my local deli, Bruce North Deli. <laughs> Pre-cooked bacon. They prepare it all for special campers like myself and Andy. Only the special ones. Mmm, bacon. So, uh, three people stayed here last night. Well, four. Well, four groups. And, uh, yeah. Got water down at the comfort station. And, uh, we're good. We're good. Getting some coffee. Gonna have some eggs. So this is camping. And it's glorious. It's really handy actually. Like really uh, um really cheap to camp here too. So some some uh locks have ice and some I thought had wood. Um, this one doesn't, but the marina just up the road does, so, so we're good. I gotta go. I gotta, I gotta make my eggs. <laughs> what? You told me to put a sunscreen on. <laughs> it's too late. It's too late. It's 50 plus. That mean I'm I'm 50 plus, right? Is that what it means? Yeah, it was on sale because you. It's for seniors. Because I'm senior. <laughs> it's like I'm part of a Star Wars movie. <laughs> a little canoe is going to be in there. Just a little canoe. Wow. Oh, big shoe marine railway. It's, it's one of those ones that really gets me excited. It's, it's the only thing like it in North America. You know, it's a boat roller coaster that most canoeists don't even know. You are still a boat. You get to go on to the big shoe marine railway. It's three stories high. It takes you high and dry out of the water. You stay on your boat. So you stay on your canoe. You get lifted out onto this massive train car or train track system. You know, the cart out of the water over a road, down a cliff to the other side, 60 feet in height difference between this structure. So it was constructed back in 1917. It was updated back in 78. It's still the same cart from 1978 that is welcoming over 8,000 boats, average per year, that go up and over this cart to the other side. Well, I've never done this before. <laughs> Hey, I'm Chaz and you're at the Big Shoot Marine Railway. Welcome, Kevin. Operated by four DC motors uh, and they drive four cables on some pulleys and stuff like that. Uh, up and down the hill, we go about an you know, elevation change about 58 feet and it's been around since 1978. So this is, it's normal for a canoe to go through here? Absolutely, uh, probably the easiest load of all. Uh, they can come in and just rest on the deck as we come out of the water, uh, super simple. I just want to make sure you miss uh, some of the sling holes that we have. But yeah, it's a lot of fun. You should definitely try it.
It's a good thing I'm not afraid of heights, Andy. I thought you were afraid of everything. One over here, and we'll be taking the first board on the left, second board on the right, third both side center. I'm then ready to enter the carriage, please. Right? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I gotta help Andy. <laughs> Well, we're, we're into some big water here. <laughs> Close to bay just after the big shoot and just full of islands. Nice breeze. It's, it's another heat wave today, but the breeze makes a big difference. And uh, yeah, and when the sign says no wake, that means no wake boats out, out there, okay? Most people, in fact, 99% of the people are doing it. But those two boats that went by us, I hope St. Peter beats the crap out of you up on the, the gates of heaven. That's all I got to say. Right, Andy? You know what I think? They thought, well, there's no wake because no one's died yet. Let's try and kill these two canoe guys. <laughs> then we'll have a wake. <laughs> but they look good. They look cool in their boat. Sorry. It was one of those mornings. Kevin, repeat after me. Get off my lawn! <laughs> I know. I'm getting old and cranky. Uh, I know. I know. Uh, yeah, so... It happens, um, and make sure when you see that weight coming, you don't take it sideways. You put your bow right into it and and and, and cut through it. That one actually, we brought in water over the bow, or I peed myself. I'm not sure. <laughs> so that is what I'm talking about. They just went past a sign saying no wake. So we got to deal with this. And I don't know if you caught that on film, but I'm pretty sure the driver, which was a young teenager, was texting while going around that corner. <laughs> right there. That's the sign. Andy. Nothing. 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 It's a gorgeous day. We're having a beautiful time. Yeah. It's actually really not that busy. I don't want to make it, this is sound like a, a negative thing. This is just a rare occurrence, but when it happens, it's like, you know, driving on the roads, right? You, everybody's pleasant, but there's that one person. So like I said, the majority of the people are great, like that. Time for lunch. Mr. Baxter, where are we? We're, um, we're pulled over on the bank of the river and we're making some lunch. <laughs> this is probably the hardest trip you've ever been on with me, right? One of the toughest, for sure. Um, I, uh, uh, we, we, so we, uh, we're deciding whether we should, um, continue on or not, and, uh, we've made the decision. <laughs> we're camping here. Done. Decision made. 
It's not all mine. You just grab that from the other people's table. That's what he's trying to tell you. <laughs> it's way too sticking hot. It was a, was it 30 degrees, but then like 40 with the Humidex, whatever. And yeah, yeah, we're not piling out in Georgia Bay right now. So, yeah, we're camping over there. Andy. Hello. What are you doing? Pumping up your air mattress. <laughs> I love that air mattress. It's a new one. It's a new air mattress. Looks pretty good, actually. Yeah. The and Neo. It's. I, I, I got it for winter camping, but I took my dad back with that. It, it feels like it has some filling in it, like for insulation. It's insulated, yeah. 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 And actually, you can pump it up like this with an external pump from one end, or you can, there's a built-in foot pump on the other end. Oh, that's fancy. Built in. Do jig. Where are we camping? In the wilderness. <laughs> Why do we have our tent set up in the gazebo? Because we can. <laughs> because uh, the good folks at Parks Canada make this camping area available to those who would like to use it. And we said, yes, please. And they said, go right ahead. And we even said, can we put our tent in the gazebo? And they said, sure, be our guest. Because it's very hot out. Uh, last 30 days have been, last 30, last couple of days have been 30 plus. Uh -huh. Um, with humidity it's crazy anyway so and then it's all good until you know at some point in the night you do kind of feel like oh I wish I could have a sleeping bag oh not this again <laughs> and you know you subconsciously start looking for a sleeping bag so if you want to know how mr. Callan deals with that situation you should ask him he's an expert it was stinking hot last night when we went to bed and he went to bed a little bit earlier than I did because I had to jot some stuff down and um, uh, and uh, I went in the tent I didn't even get my sleeping bag out because it was way too hot for it but it got not chilly but damp whatever all I know is I woke up with his sleeping bag on me and he was he was free as a bird not covered chilled shaking crying I stole the sleeping bag and all day I heard about it all day. That's the kind of support I get from you. It's, it's appreciated. Thank you. You're, you're welcome. Andy, could you explain the day? Because I can't. <laughs> well, we, we got up. And we had breakfast at our campsite, and uh, and then um, the coffee was, you know, um, uh, less than stellar. Oh, I messed. I really messed. It up. was chewy. Yeah, I'm so sorry about that. Yeah. So we went and got a coffee at the restaurant. <laughs> you gotta love that camping. And then we like uh, basically paddled. Uh, 20 kilometers through the um, through the Severn system and uh, we stick handled around some uh, wakes that were left by boats passing by that make sure we didn't fall over that was like probably the most challenging part but it was really cool at the start of our day because we rode down big chute on this kind of it's basically a railway elevator shaft escalator shaft maybe is is better uh to um it picks up boats at one end and drops them down at the bottom and then reverses that picks them up at the bottom and then scoops them out of the water and brings them up to the top and drops them back into the water it's kind of cool so anyway we started the day with that through the system um about 20 kilometers uh, thought hey we should stop and eat some lunch uh, saw a restaurant maybe you can see it in the background and uh, had a great lunch uh, 
couple of pops with lunch just so we wouldn't get parched because it's a very hot day and um, and then uh, we decided why don't we camp here it's got pop it's got ice it's got restaurants and this lovely gazebo and the good folks at Parks Canada are said yeah sure camp out there no problem so um, we got a shorter day tomorrow so no need to press on we're here um, okay so but I did send a picture to your wife uh, uh, about you uh, what you're doing and there's two containers <laughs> Okay, so can you explain <laughs> at least one of the containers? Yes, one of these containers is essential to survival in the wilderness. Otherwise, you may die a horrible, unsatisfactory, tripping experience death. And that is beer. If you find yourself a beer along the way, a cold beer, no less, then life is going to be wonderful. That's not the container I was talking about. <laughs> There's another one. Oh, this container? Yeah. I don't know why it's beside you, but... That container is a mystery container. And some people wonder what this container is about. Others will know that to get through the night successfully, peacefully, without getting bug bitten, a container like this is key. It's a pea bottle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not knocking your age, buddy, but if you have a beer and a pea bottle beside you while well, you're the camera steady <laughs> it's tough paddling the Severn system you work hard and then you need to relax okay don't worry we are doing a northern trip soon just if you're worried if you're worried I don't really care <laughs> we're having a blast <laughs> <laughs>